Hi guys and welcome to lesson 12 which is all about convergence. Um, a big part of convergence is the way in which technology has changed so we'll be discussing a bit of that as well. Um, this particular lesson is very relevant to task 2 in the brief which is all about discussing technology. As part of that task you've got to discuss convergence and you've got to discuss the development of technology concerning the kind of advertising industry and campaigns. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to help you better understand it, we're going to watch a short video. Apologies in advance for the music, which I have turned down a bit. Okay, no need to answer those questions. So as you can see, um, convergence is something that's all around us almost all of the time. And um, that video and some of the um, details explained therein, such as the advantages, disadvantages, you'll find useful later on for some mini tasks. Okay, so convergence defined, here you go. Media technologies coming together and performing similar tasks. Um, it's when hardware's capability is increased and it's able to do much more than it traditionally did. So, for example, phones don't just make phone calls anymore, as you know only too well. It also send, they also send texts, emails, take pictures. You can go on the internet, you can listen to music, produce films, distribute... Um, the, um, the list goes on and on. It's something that is a very normal part of your world, but it wasn't always like that. So in 2000, people were not expecting that something um, 
you know, a little search bar was going to be the main way to explore the internet. This is when Google turned up in the early noughties, obviously founded in 98, but it really took off in the early noughties. Um, we weren't expecting to be able to carry, you know, tons and tons of music around in our pockets when things like the now obsolete iPod first turned up. Obviously, they're now integrated within um, mo most mobile devices. And we didn't expect to be able to watch TV as and when we wanted to watch it with things like Sky Plus and TiVo. Um, phone calls suddenly became freely available via the internet using apps like Skype in 03. Um, then things like Apple Music turned up and really revolutionized the way we listen to music on our phones. And, and the fact that, you know, we would not have to worry about deleting files on our PCs. Um, the list goes on. If we jump a decade or so afterwards, you know, technology evolved even more. And we went from having to go to a physical shop to get movies to not having to buy them at all and now we can watch what we want when we want by paying for it in an instant this has obviously been enhanced by other tv channel options so it's no longer just about the traditional tv stations that we used to have things like youtube have come along and also revolutionized the way we access media um, and turned it into a much more multimedia experience. Um, companies have become integrated and bought by one another to make mega companies such as Virgin Media. And now increasingly people are earning an entire living online in virtual communities. This, all of this was, you know, unheard of and difficult for most people to imagine way back when including the idea that you would never have to delete anything you know i still remember having to delete stuff from my pc to try and make it run faster something no doubt you're all laughing about right now um <clears throat> and here's here's a graph now that also helps us appreciate not only just how technology has changed but also how uh, media consumption has changed as a result as more and more convergence takes place on the left, it shows you the percentage change in in terms of how regularly it is used um, compared to the other kind of mediums. And along the bottom is the percentage of average persons using the media at any one time. And we can see things like newspapers and magazines have really gone down and books. These are the traditional mediums and things like the computer. Um, a very archaic image there, radio and podcast, and of course the phone, the usage and share has gone through the roof as these have become more and more accessible. But also the fact that something like the computer and the phone integrates so much of the other elements within it now because of convergence. Moving on, a short set of questions for you to answer. Please write them down in your blog and answer these with a small paragraph. The first one is asking you, how do you use media through your smartphone? Whereas the second one is asking you, how do you make media through your smartphone? So obviously in the first instance, it's about watching things, listening to things, um, you know, playing games, etc. And the second one is more about the media you produce to put on things like Instagram, Snapchat and other social mediums. OK, so please write a response to those two questions on there. In this task, you will need to possibly do this on something like a PowerPoint or a Google Slides type of application because we want you to get an image of your mobile phone, not this very dated iPhone, and place it in the center of a um, document and then annotate it and point out the kind of digital technology from different sectors that converge onto your phone, camera and video, games, music, and any others. 
Okay, so that is another mini task for you to do. Moving on, a couple of little questions to respond to. So first of all, how do the features on your phone link to the five, any five sectors of the media? Which of course is you explaining convergence upon your mobile phone. You may recall the slide in the video going into detail about that. So you might wanna flick back to that. And then what are the advantages of convergence? Again, covered in the video, as well as any you can think of. Now this one would have been done in groups, but you're gonna do it by yourselves. So these are the different stages of media, okay? The production stage, the distribution stage, the marketing, and of course, the consumption stage. Um, we want you to discuss how each stage is being affected um, by technological convergence, okay? So for each stage, you should write a paragraph on how technological convergence is affecting it. A few key terms now, which you need to put into your books, sorry, into your blogs. Immediacy, it's about speed, in which audiences can consume products. Access is about getting to it. In other words, any restrictions or paywalls. Convenience, how easily it can be accessed. Um, whether it's a digital media, whether the digital media product is free, ch um, is cheap, is it available locally or globally, and so on. Portability is about how easily it can be carried around. Connectivity is quite obvious, you know, being able to connect to um, people around the world, people in your immediate network locally, and so on. Then you've got interactivity, huge one, the ways in which producers and, and the consumer work together and interact. You've got the personalization, which is about how our devices and products are personalized to our needs and what we are interested in. So please write all of these down with their definitions in your blogs. A few more things to note down. This is explaining technological conversion, convergence in relation to consumption. We've got the first one talks about digital technologies and how they're changing. The second one gives you an example where once upon a time, 35 millimeter films were used in cinemas. Now they're mainly in museums. Um, and of course, we can go to cinemas and have a much more immersive experience because of the way technology has converged. Okay, so now we have things like 3D format, and then there's also 4D, isn't there? So, you know, it's technological convergence that has allowed this to happen. Okay, um, this is about how technological convergence is changing the quality. So once upon a time, you might have been able to you know, once upon a time, um, the digital SLR cameras, which you guys get to use, you know, regularly in our department, were only used by professionals. But the fact that we can now purchase them in any supermarket and, um, you know, we can use them with software that is easily bought also has made them much more accessible. And as a result, it means what we produce is also of a much higher quality. So please make sure you note these slides down as well. Finally, I want you to go and um, download um, through Insight or wherever it is that we're making this available, a PDF <clears throat> that looks like this. And I want you to go through it and make notes because it goes into real depth about convergence when it comes to particular marketing campaigns. Here we've got the Red Bull example, another one here from um, the Lego movie, um, and then it goes into how content is um, branded and how it appears in marketing. So please go through it and make notes on the various ways in which convergence technology is allowing marketing campaigns to take place. All right, guys, good luck with it all and speak to you soon.